everybody, welcome back to the more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my thought stroke rant of the day. Definitely a rant this one. It's all about a former Newcastle United striker who is moaning that he will not play for his current club again, ever again, because they will not sell him to a mega rich club in the Saudi Arabian League. Who am I talking about? Of course, I'm talking about the crazy bastard that is Alexander Mitrovic. Many people remember Mitro when he played for Newcastle United. Loads of potential, young striker that was saying, I think, from Anderlecht at the time. Big hope for him. We all thought he was going to be brilliant. Had moments when he scored goals. I think he scored against the Macrams as well. But most of the moments that he had was involving him losing his marbles, doing something stupid, getting a red card. You know, giving away a daft foul, whatever it is. And Rafa Benitez decided that he, he wasn't, you know, in his plans, he was surplus to requirements, and he sent him off to Fulham, who gave him a lifeline, really, and, and, and really gave him a chance to show that he was going to be a top Premier League striker. And, and, and he's repaid them for that. You know, he, he went to the Championship, he scored loads of goals from the Championship, got them promoted. He's become a really consistent Premier League striker. 14 goals that he got last season. And by and large, he's calmed down a hell of a lot, but he still has those crazy moments of red mist where he'll do something utterly batshit crazy, like he did last season, pushing the referee in, I think it was 10 or 15 moments of sheer madness uh, against Manchester United in the FA Cup, which saw him get an eight-match ban. Now, here's where I have a problem with this. Alexander Mitrovic, I don't think, is repaying the faith that Fulham have put in him. They gave him the lifeline, but his career looked like it was kind of tailing off. And they've also stood by him through all these stupid red cards and stupid decisions and stupid shit that he's pulled over the years. And they haven't just stood by him. They've, they've, you know, they've supported him. They've encouraged him. All the managers that he had, certainly Marco Silva right now, has done nothing but big him up. He's their talisman. He's their main man. So you can understand why they don't want to sell him. But I just feel it's really disrespectful of Mitrovic to show just such a disregard for Fulham and what they've done for him in his career by refusing to play for them ever again is fucking abhorrent. You know, I put Johan goodbye and I'll see you next Tuesday list for this exact reason. And, you know, let's just break this down a little bit. I know I've been on here saying that I don't blame players like uh, Jordan Henderson for going to Saudi Arabia. Jordan Henderson's 33 years old. He's, he's going to be lucky if he's got one season left at the top flight. He probably wasn't going to play much for Liverpool this season. They signed loads of young players. He would have been a bit part player. It's not really what he wants. So he's looking at you know the last two years of his career. You know he could earn up to fucking seventy million quid or something, and then retire and become a pundit or something like that. Alexander Mitrovic is twenty eight years old. He's at the peak of his powers. He could be a Premier League striker for the next three four seasons. If Alexander Mitrovic has a great season for Fulham this season and scores 20 goals, he could end up at Man United or Spurs or Chelsea or anybody. So I don't understand why he wants to go over to Saudi League other than money anyway at this minute in his career. You know, the same you could say with Musa Diaby as well. This is where the Saudi League starts to get a bit of a worry when it's taken players at the peak of their careers or coming in their peak years away from European teams, that's when it becomes a bit of a problem. They are just copying the template of the, of the Premiership, so I suppose you can't blame Saudi Arabia, but it does become a bit of a problem. But we're going back to Mitrovic. You know, Fulham don't want to sell you. How are they going to replace you? It's, you know, 52 million quid is what they've valued them at. For a 28-year-old centre-forward international footballer who scored 14 goals in the Premier League last season, 52 million quid is a fair price his agent talk about shit house his agent is trying to tell the fulham owner to accept 26 to 35 million who the fuck is his agent to tell fulham what they should accept for a player that's under contract know your role agent and back the fuck up it's nothing to do with you the club sets the buying price of a player in a contract. They have to buy out the rest of the contract. And you have to have enough money to buy a suitable enough replacement. This agent is getting way above his station. I don't know who he is. I haven't even Googled the fucker. That's how much I think of him. But that is well out of order. So for me, I think Alexander Mitrovic really needs to give his head a wobble here because he owes Fulham. He owes Fulham for not just giving him that lifeline when his career was going in the skids from Newcastle, but also standing by him through all the stupid shit that he's pulled, red cards, bringing the, the club into disrepute, sullying the reputation of the club on the, on the global scale with the way he behaves. They stuck by him. They showed faith in him. It's time for you to have faith in Fulham Metro and stop being such a shit house. Knuckle down and get back and play football for Fulham and score goals. You've got no right to turn around and say you're never going to play for this club again. If he forces a move to Saudi Arabia by behaving like this, it's a real concern 
because who is next? Who else will throw a wobbler like this and force their way out of their current football club for bags and bags of gold? But let us know what you guys think in the comments below. That's me done with the rant today. I'm not happy with Mitrovic at all. This is exactly why we got rid of him. To quote Taylor Swift, I knew he was trouble when he walked in the fucking door. So I'm glad that Rafa binned him off because I would have hate this to happen as a Newcastle United player and just disrespecting the club that stood by him like this, like he's doing to Fulham. But as I mentioned, smack a comment in. We'd love to hear from you. Always try and reply to you. If you haven't already, click subscribe. We'd love you to come and join us. We're over 4,200 subs. I'll be back soon, I'm sure, with another rant or thought of the day. Like the video, help get it around YouTube, everybody. Have a cracking day wherever you are, and we'll see you later. Cheers, bye.